So in this video, I'm going to show you how to transform first and second person case into third person case. So we use third person case so that our papers look and sound more professional. So here let's start in transforming this paper into third person case. Staying fit and active while having a cramped and busy schedule. So first thing he has to do is he has to write out his, um, his contractions. So here you have to write is not as hard as it may seem. It is, so you have to get, so you have to write it is instead of it's. Quite easy to do if a person puts his mind to it. So you want to replace you and your with a person. People have learned from firsthand experience that if they have a busy schedule with school and work days, then they have to find a way to make it all work. So instead of having it based on your experience, you would transfer that into third person case to make it sound more professional. So instead of saying, I've learned this from firsthand experience, you would just delete that and just write, people have quite a busy schedule working most days. Most people have found a way to make going to school and having a busy schedule work. One of the easiest ways for people to make time for exercise is to exercise in the morning before work or before school. So you notice that I got rid of you, your, I by replacing everything with third person case people. A simple workout at home can keep a person in great shape, especially if a person is consistent. If a person watches what he is eating, he cannot out-train a bad diet. So once again, that is your um, introduction, and I got rid of first, second, and third person case. When a person starts his morning exercising, it is a great way for that person to stay fit. If a person has a busy schedule, it's even more important for him to stay fit. Exercising in the morning has more benefits than just burning calories and gaining muscle. In an article by University Health, they state working out in the morning can, and then you need your um, uh, quotation marks, and then you need to write in the author and the date over here. And then you, you would say, uh, many people can attest to these claims. When people go to the gym in the morning, they feel accomplished. In addition, going to the gym is a great way to find time during the day and a great way to start the day off right. So even though you're basing it off your experience, it actually sounds better if you, um, based on your experience, you turn it into third person case simply to make it sound more professional. There are a lot of super simple body weight workouts that can get a person in amazing shape. Uh, a person does not need all the equipment to stay fit. All of these exercises can be done in a small amount of time. A person, so you always, you're replacing you and your with a person. So instead of saying you can break up your workout, you would say a person can break out, can break up his workout throughout the day. It doesn't need to be all at once. Something is better than nothing. And here you did, here, here is a correct uh, in-text citation where he has his uh, quotation marks. Then you have the author and the date. So whenever you use numerical uh, numbers, you need to put in the author and the date. And so here, um, if a person cannot find 20 minutes of time while they are at home, a person can break it down even more into 10 to 5 minute segments throughout the day when a person has time. These exercises are not meant to be super intensive. It would not require, so here you want to write out your um, conjunctions, so would not require a change of clothes. Most of the exercises a person can do at home 
would not require any equipment. But some equipment, such as a pull-up bar and a few resistance bands, can be extremely helpful with, you know, when starting. And so remember, to not overcomplicate things, starting is the hardest part. And once a person gets into a routine, a person doesn't even end up thinking about it. Simple uh, workouts that a person can do at home can easily help stay fit even just uh, with a person's body weight. So here I uh, replace you and your with a person. Diet is the most important part in staying in shape. A person can out-train a bad diet. Being on a diet is not looked at as eating as much, but that is not correct. There are many foods that have low calorie counts but are just as filling and taste just as good. There are plenty of websites that can help a person find recipes. So here, okay, you have to replace you with a person. Find recipes and other meal plans that do not break the bank. Okay, so instead of using a cliche like do not break the bank, you would, you would use more formal English and you would say that do not cost that much money or that is affordable, taste good, and are healthy. Some websites consist of delish, good to know, and eating well. There are hundreds of other websites that help you, that help people find good tasting, healthy, and cheap recipes. Uh, it is good for people to try these websites out because these recipes are super cheap. So I got rid of the I have used. So you can write, it is important that people try out these websites. It is essential that people try out these websites. Instead of saying, I have used. Because when you use first person case, it sounds too conversational. It sounds like you're talking to that person on the telephone. So when we write an academic paper, we want to stay away from conversational speech and we want to sound more professional because you've got to take into account your audience. Who is your audience? Is your audience going to be your family and your friends going to be reading this paper? Or is it going to be your teacher? Is it going to be other professionals? So because we're writing an academic paper, we are not going to have conversational English first and second person case. So just like what we've been discussing in week three, when we are writing our academic paper and our audience is our boss or our teacher, then we use third person case so that we, we veer away from conversational English and it's very hard to do. This is not an easy thing to do because we are all so used to talking to people. And so we, 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 I, 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 my, 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 you, 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 is, is just so ingrained in everybody. And so writing in third person case does take practice. So here you have, there are companies that send pre-cooked meals that all a person needs to do is put them in the microwave. One of the best companies that provide this service is called Factor. Setting up a prescription, so you get rid of your, takes around five minutes. A person can find a plan that fits their budget and how much food they need they can select as many meals a week as they want. Having a diet does not have to be the worst thing. It can be quite fun eating foods a person hasn't tried before for a cheap price. So I uh, replaced all the you and the your and the I with um, a person so that you sound more uh, formal and you sound more professional. Staying fit while having a busy schedule can be daunting. But in reality, it is not as hard as many think it is. Exercising early in the morning is a great way to start a person's day. Or it's a great way for a person to start their day. And the morning is also the best time to work out. Working at home is the best way to get started. And a person, instead of saying you, can stay in great shape with minimal exercise. Eating is one of the most important ways to stay healthy, and it can be done tastefully without costing a lot of money. So we want to get rid of the cliche, breaking the bank. Staying fit is something that is really important, and it can be done with ease without having to leave the comfort of a person's home. 
So here uh, is an example of an essay that was too conversational, and he used too much first person case I and my, we, us, and then he used too much second person case you and your. And so what I did in this presentation is that I replaced all of you and your with a person. And I also replaced I and me and you with either a person or people. You can do either one. You can either replace everything with people, 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 or replace everything with person, person, person. Just make sure you're consistent and you don't like you know you don't um, flip flop between the two. So make sure you either do person, 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 or people, 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 people. Another trick is you don't have to keep saying people, 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 people. You could also say Americans need to lose more weight. Americans need to, in other words, you can name the people you're referring to. You don't just have to say people, people, people. So that way you have more uh, variety. You, you could say a person, you could say American people, uh, the American woman, the average American male, or whatever, you know, wh whatever you're referring to. So as long as you use third person case, he, she, and they, then you can maintain a more professional tone. So basically for when you do your, your uh, final draft uh, for week, um, I believe it's week six, no, week five. Yeah, for you guys it's week five. It's one, three, five, yeah. So when you do your week five final draft, you need to change all everything into third person case. And then otherwise you have an excellent essay structure with a thesis statement that has all of the body matching body paragraphs. That you did really, really well. So just all you gotta do is just change your cases to third person case and you've got you you've hit home you've got a home run. Okay, there I used a cliche. Alright, so if you have any questions, you can always email me.